Writer and local historian Matt Wingett dealt in rare books for many years and was repeatedly asked to get hold of the history of Portsmouth by Lake Allen. I checked everywhere. I looked in auction records, I checked around all sorts of other book dealers. There was no record in 50 years of one having been sold. So it was a rare book. And when I found one just a few years ago, I decided that it was time to make this rare book available to everyone. And people in Portsmouth, I think, really love it because he also really loved Portsmouth and that comes out in the book. Matt has a passion for history and when he read the book it made him aware of how many relics were still around. One of the places mentioned and that is brought to life is Capstan Square in Old Portsmouth. Capstan Square has got a really long history. It first appears in literature in 1542 in Leland's itineraries and he wrote there is, at this point of the haven, Portsmouth Town, and a great round tower, almost double in quantity and strength to that, that is on the west side of the haven, right again it. And here is a mighty chain of iron to draw from tower to tower. About a quarter of a mile above this tower is a great dock for ships, and in this dock lieth part of the ribs of the Henry Grace of Dieu, one of the biggest ships that has been made in hominem memoria. There be, above this dock, creeks in this part of the haven, now, the mighty chain of iron which he mentions was stretched across the harbour mouth from Portsmouth to Gosport and it was used to prevent the invasion uh, by French ships. What would happen is, if, they, if French ships were seen, the capstan was used to tighten the chain so that what would happen is that the ships would just hit against it, they wouldn't be able to get into the harbour. Now, some time ago, some workmen were digging in the mud just near to the square and they found the remains of a mighty chain of iron that was 400 years old and what we have here uh, is a uh, replica of that mighty chain. The links of the chain, the real ones, are currently held in South Sea Castle. Lake Allen was the son of a hat maker on Portsmouth High Street. Matt believes Lake's book is the first history of Portsmouth ever written and it covers from 501 AD through to about 1814. 18-year-old Lake Allen was really, really into the town, so what he did was he made sure that um, he got every piece of information and every fact that he could find and he crammed it into the book. So if you're interested in like small details about what the town was like in the 1800s, uh, or you know details about, for example, the Empress Mat Matilda landed here um, in the 1300s, then this is a book that really um, will give you loads of little facts and information that you just didn't know you had. And for a first go at a history of Portsmouth, it's extraordinary. And you can get your hands on the history of Portsmouth by Lake Allen on sale in a handful of bookshops plus the Portsmouth City Museum. This is Shan Robbins for That's Solent.